Liebe Zuschauer, aus aktuellem Anlass... Ladies and Gentlemen, due to current events, we continue this media commentary with special programming. For the demonstration against the state curriculum plan, which began peacefully, could not be carried out or finished as planned. A group of anti-demonstration protesters, supporters of the LGBTIQ lifestyle, massively disturbed the demonstration to the point that, at the advice of the police, the initiators had to call off the march prematurely. The most rational thing to do would be when you declare your demonstration finished before it escalates even more here. If it turns into a hassle, we would have to say, that was it. Well, we're peace-seeking and we don't want the people are hurt, so... Yeah, I think so too. That's why it's best when you say no before it gets violent and dissolve the whole thing. Yes, and we hope the media is documenting the aggressive behavior of the anti-demonstrators. The police has asked us to disperse and end the demonstration now so that things don't escalate. Also because we have many children demonstrating here with us. We do not want violence. We do not want escalation. We're a peaceful demonstration. We simply are defending our constitutional right here. Yes, the police asked us to dismiss the assembly and stop the protest so that the violence does not escalate anymore. We want to demonstrate peacefully, but when that's not possible here, then we have to dismiss the meeting for everyone's protection so that no violence takes place and also for the protection of the children marching with us. I think it's shameful for our democracy that we cannot freely use our given rights, that we are hindered in such a criminal way. It's really a shame for our democracy. I think it's a shame for our democracy. We will go on organizing ourselves and continue protesting as long as necessary until the government withdraws the curriculum and makes a new one, in consultation with the parents. Many posters of the group of curriculum supporters read, Tolerance has to be learned, or be tolerant. The call to tolerance was unmistakably the main demand of the LGBTIQ group. Yet towards those demonstrators of a different opinion, they were not showing any tolerance at all. Completely the opposite was the case. Instead of protesting peacefully, they disturbed the peaceful marches with whistles, shouting, chanted slogans and even violence, so that the police could hardly keep control of the situation. The behavior of the LGBTIQ supporters demonstrating was surprisingly intolerant towards people with a different conviction. So that is why we may ask the question, shouldn't one be able to expect from people who vehemently demand tolerance for themselves that they will also show tolerance towards others of different convictions? In order for those of you watching our program to form an opinion about what happened here, we'll hear some voices directly from the demonstration now. Do you feel safe here at the demonstration? That's hard to say. The police warned us that it could escalate. The anti-fascists call it a counter-reaction against us. They call us right-wing populist agitators. So I am concerned about the safety of the demonstrators, also because they have kids with them. How are you so far? How are things going so far at this demonstration? Actually, I don't feel safe at all here because I just wanted to walk on when we were hindered. And then a man and woman, they blocked me with a poster and someone jumped past them and just bent my finger backwards. So I was attacked, although I hadn't done anything, I just wanted to walk. This assembly was purposely disturbed by groups that want to impede and prevent us from demonstrating. That is actually very intolerant, I think. I think it was also weak of the police that they stopped the whole march for half an hour and couldn't prevent those few causing disturbances, on the other hand. I came here today thinking I could use my right to free freedom of speech one of our most important basic rights, the right to assemble freely, and now I'm really disappointed in our police that they were not able to get the anti-demonstrators under control who were even putting us under duress. 
Yeah, it's really sad because we met here to demonstrate peacefully and then we were massively hindered. The police cannot or will not do anything about it. And it's really a pity that they had to end it just like that because, well, it's, it's intolerant on their part when they call for tolerance themselves. Yeah. Yes, and namely, what they're calling for is not tolerance, but acceptance, that we call it good. And that is exactly what the new curriculum plan is pushing through, that we all have to call good all these various sexual orientations. And that, with my conscience, my conscience just tells me I cannot do that. And that that's my opinion. And I think if they call for tolerance, then they should also tolerate my opinion and conscience. One has to be careful. There's a difference between acceptance and tolerance. They are people like you and me, and I don't hate people. When I talk with ninth grade girls, they all, without exception, say we want faithfulness, husband, marriage, and kids. Simply the question, Mr. Gerstorf, how did you experience this year? What happened here? A political dispute? Living together in a democracy is not possible without freedom and respect for each other. And what we're experiencing here is the absolute opposite. A demonstration of peaceful people is just being disturbed in an unbelievable way. There were disputes, the electric cables were vandalized, they wanted to hinder that the initiators could hold their speech, they were being shouted down. It is, yeah, it's just the opposite of a democratic culture that we are experiencing here. We are not intolerant, we want that tolerance is valid for everyone in our country. But we do not want compulsory acceptance of sexual diversity in the schools against the will of the parents. With these impressions, we'll say goodbye for now from Stuttgart. Have a good evening.